to Yinny Daily, and today we are going to be doing a lace skeleton, you guys. So I actually got a few of you wanting to see a skeleton tutorial. Now, you know I just can't do skeleton. I wanted to make it girly or stand out and unique in some way. So of course, I had to come up with something, and this is my version of a lace skeleton, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, I've already gone in with my Jergens moisturizer to prime my face and kind of make sure that all this gunk doesn't get into my pores. I'm not going to use my Dr. Brandt's pores no more just because there's going to be a lot of black and stuff happening. We don't really need that for this look. I am, however, going to go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Desert Beige and my Real Technique Sponge Dampened. <laughs> hard candy brownish coppery shade pencil and we're gonna map out our little socket holes right here the design and placement of it you guys we're gonna go in with that same brown shade that we used in our eyes and we're gonna start mapping that out darkening it up we're gonna go in with a few different shades to darken it up. You guys, skeletons, a lot of it is all about the shading. Making it look realistic, making it look really dimensioned and detailed, and making it really look like you know what you're talking about when you actually don't, <laughs> is really about dimension, shadowing, all that good stuff. So I'm mapping this out right now so that way I know where I don't want to go with the lace. Alright, let's go in with the black liner pencil now. And we're going to start blending that. Like with all of our teeny ween Halloween makeup tutorial videos that we've done so far, Rule one, 101 is to have a reference picture. This is mine. Oh, my phone is dirty. It's actually the skull mask that you can get at Walmart. I just saw it and that's what inspired me. I was like, oh my gosh, that's how I can take the skeleton look to the next level. So have your reference picture with you because you will need it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with our concealer first. This is mainly to lighten it up, because right now it's my skin color and I don't want it to be as my skin color. So we're gonna go ahead and add this concealer all over our forehead and around our eye sockets and around these sockets right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with a, another Real Technique sponge, that stamp. This one is designated for my concealer. Woo! See how much brighter that made my forehead? It's going to really help the white to stand out. Alrighty guys, we're back with that liner. We're going in with the NYX Gel Liner in the shade 
white this time, you guys. So instead of going in with jet black, we are going in with this whiter than white gel liner. And just like always, I'm using my e.l.f. small angled liner brush. So this is just to kind of give it that lace, you know, the underlying lace look, like the base square look before you get all that pretty designs. So that's what I'm doing right now, you guys, is just making that base where I want it, and then we'll go back in with the swirly pretties. Look at that, it's coming together. Yes! Like I said, this is a long process. Just be patient and look at your reference picture. FX makeup tutorials I'm all over the place like I literally jump all over the place when I'm trying to decide what I'm doing we're going to go in with the we're gonna go in with that red we're gonna go in with that same red purplish plumish color for our nose <laughs> Guys, so it's time to go in with our NYX gel liner in the shade Jet Black. So we're going to be bouncing between the two, y'all. Bounce, bounce, can I get a whoop, whoop? You know that song? I'm not a rapper. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the words. Okay, anyway, so we're going to be going in with this black. So let's do our cheekbones before I continue this lace because I realized it was starting to get down. And I was like, hello. T-Bone, you didn't do your cheekbones yet. Where's the other half of the skeleton, man? Yes, look at that, dude. Woo woo! I'm a skeleton gangster. Let's pop that one right there. It's just a random thingy. Alrighty, peeps and geeps, we're going back in with shading, you guys. You know the drill. We're going back in with those same three colors. That's going to be mainly what we're working with is this color right here, then this color right here, and then black. So just go ahead and start shading in. I'm starting off with the darker shade because I'm getting a little impatient.
Alrighty, guys, so we're gonna go back in with that detail brush now. Keep in mind, I'm really cleaning this bad boy in between uses. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with this shade right here from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and that's gonna be our highlighting shade. This little detail brush, you guys, as you can see, is gonna be your best friend with this look. shiny and pretty we're also gonna take the highlight right here look at that highlight it gives right there guys it just gives it extra shading and dimension it really makes it look like you're like you haven't eaten in three days that's what we're going for maybe five days all right let's just make it ten days to be to be good <laughs> So go ahead and go in with that same shade and do it in between here and here and here. Highlight your life, you guys. Oh, and this little shady part here. And also this little shady part. Pretty much anywhere the light would naturally hit our face or we would highlight when we're doing glam makeup looks, that's what you want to do right now before we continue on with the lace. I really changed my mind like halfway through this tutorial and decided I wanted to have the base skeleton down and then go back in with the lace because I didn't think that through <laughs> and I was like hmm if I go in with the lace I'm gonna be going over a lot of white and then having to go back over again so I gotta add it anyway I'm gonna do that and be right back Alrighty guys, so we are still going in with that lace. It's a lot of lace, you guys. Alrighty guys, it is finally time to go in with the T. So we're gonna go in with our e.l.f. liquid liner in the shade Jet Black. And we're gonna go ahead and connect this to this. And then you guys, we're gonna go in with the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit from Wet n Wild in the shade Widow's Peak, which is basically just black, 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 and black, and black. But we're going to bring it a little bit higher. And bring it down to that line. And connect it to that line. We don't want it to look like lipstick. We want it to look more like a decaying mouth. Now while it's wet, we're going to go ahead and sweep it up using the liner brush. All right, guys, we're gonna let that dry to its matte finish before we make the teeth. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna apply these bad boys on my eyes and I'm gonna add my NYX XXL mascara in LL01 and I'll be right back. So for the lips, we're gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Paints in white party why does that sound racist to me in my head is it racist but it sounds racist in my head. anyway okay let's make some teeth and never mind just like that we are not using this i forgot why why do i even have trash okay wait 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 idea idea we're gonna take this applicator because i need a pointier applicator but we're just gonna dip it into the NYX gel liner. Yes, okay. All 
party, you guys. Y'all get the gist. I'm not gonna make you sit here through all the teeth, but we're basically just gonna make them go and continue going until they get about right here on the bottom and the top lip. So both lips to about right here. I'm taking the e.l.f. liquid liner in jet black and we're just going to go in between the tops of the teeth a little bit more to add in a little bit more shading. Just finishing up final touches, let's make sure the eyes are highlighted. It's time for body paint. You guys know I love my body paint. And I didn't want to just do the face. So let's go in with the Wolf FX palette. And we're going to be using the white. Ooh, there's not that much left. I'm just going to grab one of the disposable wedgies here. Disposable wedgie. This is a water activated paint. So I'm going to go ahead and plop some water down in there so you guys pretty much the same thing that we did for the pop art zombie we're making the little squares you don't have to make them perfect you can make them different sizes let's make a longer one. Oh yes oh I like that <laughs> uh I think the white just went down my blouse uh, it did it did. White paint. Hoo, hoo. That's wet. That's wet. That's cold. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's go in with the black body paint. Can you guess what I'm going in with? I bet you can. That's right. The Pro Paint by Graftopian. This one is in Raven Black, you guys. Woo. I just love their body paint so much. Honest to goodness. They are the best body paints I've ever used. And... I'm trying to get a collection of all of them, but these babies run you like 10 bucks a pop. So to get all the colors of the rainbow might take a little bit of time, but we're going to get there. I'm just going to take a Real Techniques sponge. I'm going to go ahead and wet it, and then we're going to go in with black. so skeleton so vulnerable so bony <laughs> thank you guys so much to all of you that requested this video oh my gosh it was overwhelming you guys all wanted to see a skeleton look so I was like you know what let's do it but I wanted to come up with my own unique version of it. So I really hope that you guys enjoy my lace skeleton take on the skeleton. <laughs> Alright you guys, as always, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And become an official Teeny family member. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of our Teeny Ween videos. Also, don't forget to go follow us on Snapchat because we're on there every single day. I'll give you guys little sneak peeks and that's the best way for me to get requests from you and to get to know you better. Alright, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. You all stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day.